In today's video, I am going to uh, make a birthday card for a niece of mine, and I'll be using the newest um, products from the greetery, the uh, ribbon frame die and the ribbon frame, ribbon frame stencil. And um, this is from their uh, Fireside collection, which is brand new. It just came out last week. And um, anyway, so let's get started. I'm going to start by inking up a panel, um, the Nina cardstock, in the um, interference inks from Lisa Horton, in the pink champagne and the golden sun. And they're very pretty. And um, first I'm going to start with the pink champagne. And then I will um, use my die to cut out the ribbon. And then I will stencil the um, the shadowy color. You can see, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of dark in here. Oh, my bulb burnt out again. Okay, um, you can see maybe some shadowy color on here. And that's what the stencil adds. And I'll be putting the shadow in the um, Golden Sun Shimmer. So for now, I'm going to just start inking this up. I'll do this off screen and be right back. I'm going to run a background panel using the Simon Says Stamp thread plaid embossing folder. This came out in the Stamp Timber uh, issue. I've used it before. I really like this. Uh, so I'll go ahead and run this off screen and be right back. So I pulled together some embellishments and a couple um, sentiment dies. So I will run these and see which ones I like best. I'll do that off screen and be right back. Well, after trying different embellishments and different um, die cuts for the birthday sentiment, I decided to go with my original and layer up black on top of the colors that match the um, interference ink. It's actually, I, I actually colored up some white with the interference ink and die cut that and um, decided to integrate some, some more black in here other than just having the sentiment which looked out of place. So I put some black gems with some pink to golden sun <laughs> gems. So I'll go ahead and finish up with the tittle and that will finish this card. So I didn't realize that my uh, camera wasn't working, wasn't on when I was inking the shadows. And I, I don't know if you can see that, the different color. I added a second bow on top just for some dimension. And I popped up this uh, panel just on one layer of Nina, just for a little bit more dimension. But um, I think you can see the different difference in the colors where the ribbon curls, the shadows occur. There's a neat dye, I really like it. And it can be used for so many uh, different occasions. I mean, the, in the launch, it's shown really for Christmas, so, but you can see it adapts for birthday very easily. It could be for anything, anniversary, Valentine's, anything. So, I, I really like it. So that finishes this card. And I think it came out very pretty. And again, that's using the um, rainbow, <laughs> I'm sorry, that's using the ribbon frame from the greetery. And um, memory boxes, happy birthday, breezy script die. The interference inks from Lisa Horton and some gems from Trinity Stamps. So if you like this video, Please leave us a thumbs up and thank you for watching.